which means that the proposal has been done. What was the answer? This is real love. This is real love. That scared the life out of me. Right now, we are on the ferry to the Isle of Wight, and I think the boats are having some sort of fog horn off. Probably. I didn't sound right. There's so many dogs on this boat. Everyone's got dogs. I look so white. You look so brown because I look so white. I look, I'm so brown. No, you're not. Right, we are here. We have arrived at the Isle of White. Of White. I'm gonna keep each snippet really short because I'm doing it on a phone. Um, so you know, you know, you know, and try and oh, look how white <laughs> I've gone. <Whoa. laughs> Hello. Oh. Hi. Hello. You're right. So we made it to Grandma's house. Nice little, cute little summer house. About ten minutes off, off the port. Let me just show you. To be fair, it's looking good, especially with the sun out. It makes a massive difference to how attractive this place is. That kid, what an absolute gangster. Look, nice little cute house, garden's pretty fresh. I feel dizzy, wow. Grandma's just showing Nanny where she's sleeping tonight, upstairs and telling her all about her life and all that. You know, you know what old ladies like to do. Today, we're gonna travel a little bit just to see the island, show Nanny some of the highlights of the Isle of Wight, so take you guys with me, you know? That is a good light, strong. Right. Yeah. She still gels her hair. I haven't got any gel on this morning. Oh, right. It's wax, actually. Wax. Sorry. Where are you going now? Turning the lights off. Okay, we're ready to go. Ow. These roads are unbelievable. We're in Yarmouth and it's next level. So nice. So nice. Beautiful by the port and everything's beautiful. The weather's really good because it's the sun's there, but it's not too hot. So it's like decent. There she is. Throw up your gang signs. So we're gonna take her out for a meal now with her little ski poles and uh, that's the way it's gonna go, okay? So we're gonna leave Yarmouth and we're gonna go to this meal. Of course she's booked it because that's what you do when you're 112. We are here at a restaurant called The Sun Inn. This is in Newport, Isle of Wight. The sea is there. So, Grandma's gone to the toilet. The little skier. We are sitting at this meal, we've had this meal. Nanny and Grandma both ordered beef stroganoff, okay? Now, Grandma used to be, it was good, yeah. Um, although, Grandma used to be a domestic sciences teacher, which means she basically used to teach food tech, basically. She was like, this isn't strong enough, like, there's not enough onion in it, there's not this, you're not this. So, the debate we're having is, I would happily... Sorry, you know, I was going to, just spoke to the chef. Yeah. He didn't actually make the strong enough. It was a different chef that's not on duty today. Oh, so... Has he bottled it? He said, oh, I don't know what to say because I didn't make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it was a half portion, you see, it would have been split from another one. So yeah. potentially that that could have caused, that could have caused it. Because if you have a whole one, obviously everything's together. But you know what happens when you split something, you never get everything. Yeah, potentially, yeah. potentially. But I don't know. So the issue was that there wasn't enough onion in it or something else. So if you just heard the, the reply that we've got. But basically, Grandma was like, I'm going to tell them, I'm going to tell them, this is it. Um, but we were debating whether it's right to tell them or not. So my view is, like, as like as Jesus came to serve and be a servant, like, my view is, why am I going to do something that's going to cause people to go out their way to do more? I'm supposed to be getting them to do less because of what I do. Why would I go and do more? But their view is, and obviously I understand it, but it's long, um, is, <laughs> is the view of, you know, you've got to tell them if it's wrong. Cause then, and I think, okay, I get it for more serious things. But we've just come out for dinner, so, hmm. 
that's where we're at. But tell me what you think. Comment on the video, do something. I don't know. Tell your mum. Just tell your mum what you think. So grandma went to the toilet and found out there was no paper in the toilet. <coughs> <laughs> and so she let them know she, because she's you. if not... And so I let them know. Yes, so I let them know <laughs> because if not they would have used paper towels and it would have caused a blockage in the toilet. That's why I told them. Adds a spin to the tail, doesn't it? Like, then you serve somebody but you... you then you're creating extra work for them regardless. Um, and that's got to be done, hasn't it? Well, the, the whole idea of serving people is being consistent and serve everybody all the time, not just when you're out up front in restaurants. There you go. <laughs> Bang. Got it? Bang. <laughs> <laughs>
castle. Okay. And it's got a big, there's a lot of history to it. It's obviously an old place, but it's not the first place we're going to. No. We're gonna stay here for two days. No. Yeah. Again? Yeah. In the castle? This is a hotel. Okay. No. This is a hotel and we're gonna stay here until Wednesday. Is this serio? Is this serio? Is this serio? Next morning. The video. Yeah. Yeah. Here's to us. Porque Stuart estaba diciéndome que me apurara y que me apurara y de repente había un fotógrafo y está tan enfocada en otras cosas que ni me di cuenta y de repente solo vino y, y, y se puso de rodillas y me dijo eh, quiero hacer este compromiso contigo y no sé qué y yo no hombre, no, 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 solo le dije nombre, nombre, no, no, es en serio, como por mucho tiempo. Thank you the, for those people that have been involved. Um, we are just about to have lunch. Y el día está demasiado lindo. The, the weather is absolutely incredible. Es perfecto. Es como que si Dios sabía que yo iba a estar acá y vamos a estar acá hoy y Dios dijo voy a poner este sol lindo para ustedes. Así fue. What I love about this is me and Malcolm were planning via email this for probably about two months before it actually happened um, and I'd never seen him, I didn't know what he looked like, didn't know anything until his lunch. I'd never met him until, thank you, I'd never met him until after the proposal was done even though we'd been talking about it for months. It was just the way it was with quality because we came down and he was waiting, he was like hovering around and then he just walked straight past him because he made himself look as if he was doing um, just taking photos of the gardens and the, gr the grounds. Malcolm is a photographer from here that does photos specifically for outdoors. I will put the link to his page down below um, and I think our photos are going to be on his page. So if you're thinking about getting photos in a beautiful place, please come down and use Malcolm because he's excellent. Like some of the ideas he had were brilliant. Él es mi prometido. Woo! Helmet set up for a big head as well. This guy reminds me of the guy in the first Harry Potter where he's like, what about this one? This. 